first sip of Diet Coke. <laughs> There's just something about it. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I'm Helen. We are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow, where we dye yarn and make project bags. And today uh, we are coming to you. It is the last day of March, March 31st. So, hey, we made it through another month. Happy birthday, Bryn. Is it Bryn's birthday today? Yeah, it's her 16th birthday. Oh, um, we're going to we're gonna Skype them tonight. Uh, yeah, Zoom so them tonight. I don't know whether uh, she's coming on, but Heather is. So. Yeah, cool. We will see you guys. Yeah. All right. Um, so I put on my outgirl pan, out, outdoor girl pants and went to the post office. <laughs> and it's amazing how my outfits are pajamas and outside people pants. Yeah. <laughs> my standards are sliding. Yeah. We need to get back into the public. <laughs> However, we got Happy Mail in the, in, uh, the, the mail today in the form of cards. And yes. it was just... Ray, you did exactly what you were right. supposed to do. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. It made us smile. Um, it's just a really fast note from a friend of ours just saying, hey, you know. Um, thank you and thinking of you. Yeah. Um, so it was very, very cool. And all Parks and Rec themed, which um, makes me want to go and just sit down and watch Parks and Rec from start to finish. I know. Because, you know, everybody needs a little Leslie Nope right now. I, Leslie <laughs> Nope is exactly who we need. A little Chris Traeger. Yeah. Um, Bart Maverick. Yeah. FBI agent. <laughs> um, anyway, so I was thinking, you know, um, if you know somebody who might be down a little bit, sending a card, you yeah. know, just getting something in the mail, it makes, it makes, it's really kind of nice. Yeah. So, um, especially people, if you know people who are, uh, alone. Yeah. During this or elderly, because, um. I know they're concerned and that kind of thing so just a little happy note yeah i think we're gonna send out a couple of notes yes next time we go to the post office yep all right um speaking of parks and rec it's not actually parks and rec i don't know whether you have seen this or not it's been all over but you may have missed it uh john krasinski did something where he interviewed uh steve carell they were talking for about five ten minutes about the office it's the office's 15th anniversary and um it was just, if you're fans of The it Office, was nice. or if you're fans of Steve Carell or John Krasinski, it was so much fun. So if you look for John Krasinski, you want to like them just a little bit more than you already do. Yeah. I mean, really, really, really good. So it was a lot of fun to watch. So if you're fans of that, go look for that if you haven't seen it already. Yeah. Okay. Drew is trying to, t trying to tell me that we did not bring We bribes. skipped a step. We skipped a step. We will do it afterwards. Okay, honey? All right. Um, so we have something going on on So uh, now that March, March Madness is over, um, we wanted to do another fun little thing. Um, so we set up a scavenger hunt through our website, uh, starting oh. on Instagram. We have already had knocking over, we knocked over something and broke a frame. One of the cats jumped up, knocked the glass top off a table, broke two dishes it has been a day so now i have a cat who is not really a cat wandering around and i'm like i just poured my diet coke get it to safety <laughs> save what's important uh, do, do you know what i realize today is oh it is it is i was uh doing the cage down and i'm like shit oh yeah because uh and then i thought you know i haven't seen a male cardinal in the longest time and then he was there today he was on the back porch. Today is the anniversary of our dad's death. Um, and with everything that's going on, this is the first year that it wasn't the first, first thing. The yeah. first thing in my thought when I thought of what day it was. Um, wow. So. Wow, wow, wow. No, I didn't. I totally didn't. Yeah. So anyway, that's. Okay. Scavenger hunt. Yes. <laughs> on the website. Okay. Helen has caved and gone and gotten the treats. <laughs> We sit down in these two seats facing the camera, and Drusilla, does her, yeah. she fully believes that she should be having something. Now, granted, when the table was knocked over, the glass top table, that was knocked over on Drusilla, so she did almost die today. Okay. Oh, my gosh. All right, anyway, scavenger, scavenger hunt. hunt. <laughs> okay, so in our Instagram feed, our for, um, the post for today is the first clue, and it explains what is going on. Basically, what you're going to do is you have to answer a riddle, 
go to that listing. It's all about yarn listings. Go into the listing. It will give you a letter and the next clue, and you have to solve all the clues. Get all the letters. Get all the letters. Rearrange them so they make sense, and then email us your answer. So email us to toadhollownj at gmail.com, and we can give you the first clue here. So if you don't have Instagram, you can still play. Um, and the first clue is, what was uh, Dread Pirate Henry's, who was Dread Pirate Henry's favorite character? Okay, so in our second Toad's Tale, Henry's favorite character from the Captain Kerr books was blank. So if you read the story that goes with the Dread Pirate, uh, Dread Pirate Henry, it tells you who his favorite character is. You have to find the yarn and go from there. Right. And then in the listing will be the letter that you collect and the next clue, and then you just go from there. If you do not know what we're talking about, if you go to our, play, our YouTube playlist, our Toad's Tales are there, and you can watch the Dread Pirate Henry tale, and it'll give you the answer right there. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, but have fun. Um, it's just a fun little thing. We've got a ton of people played on Instagram already. Um, the only thing we ask is that you don't give the answer. Uh, no, don't give it because other right. people want to, to do to it. To enjoy it. Yeah. Right. Um, so that was our fun thing for today. Yeah. So enjoy that. Yeah. Have fun. Um, and we've gotten quite a few people uh, saying how much they love the word games and that kind of thing. So yeah. we're really glad about that. Um, and I will say that, yes, there are a lot of O's. Yeah. If you're, if you're getting those, it's, it's okay. Right, it's good. It's correct. So. It's cool. <laughs> okay. Um, so, um, the other thing we want to talk about is the Toad Hollow Book Club. So, we had a really good book in January, a meh book in February, and neither of us finished much. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to try again. Right. For April, we are reading The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I started this this morning. I am already four chapters in. Chapters aren't that long. It's really good. Um, so what I am going to do is on our Facebook group, Crafting with the Toads, I am going to put a page for our reading schedule. There are 39 chapters. I figured 10 chapters a week. We should be good. Yeah. Um, it's, it's one of um, our bigger endeavors for a monthly read. Right. Um, Mary Beth's going to have no problem with it. I, I need the schedule. So, because I'm a very slow reader. But the chapters are kind of short. They're not terribly long chapters. So, um, I really think it's going to be okay. From what I've heard of this book, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Yeah. Um, well, the first four chapters are great. Okay. I, I whip through them in no time at all. So, I, I will put um, chapters and pages so that uh, you can see how far we're getting. I don't know that it's going to necessarily... Uh, tie in with your version of the book it should but I'm not sure you know just go by the chapters so yeah um, even if you have um uh, if you're reading it on the Kindle or the Nook or whatever the chapters will be broken right. out so that that's right so you just know you're going to yeah. read through chapter, chapter 10, 10 through the end of chapter 10 for the first week through the end of chapter 20 for the second right. week and so on um so yes that is what we are reading this month Okay, so, um, and we hope to be a little bit more present. We didn't do it for February or March, but for April, we're going to be um, a little bit more present. Come on once a week, right. talk about where we are so far, see how you guys are liking it. Kind of like we did with January, because I really liked that. Well, yeah, I mean, it's an indication of how awful the books were in February and March. There was nothing to talk about. Well, also, they, they, they didn't lend themselves to it, and I think this yeah. one is going to lend them to it, it, to it that okay. much more, so... There is that. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much it, right? I think so. That's, uh, we really haven't been doing too much. Oh, oh, no, there's something <gasps> big. What? Okay. <laughs> what? For tell those, me! Tell me! For those of you that were planning to go to the Allentown Fiber Festival this weekend, everybody knows that it has been canceled. But um, Kelly from Shirsty Cat, who is the woman who puts it on, is putting together a virtual fiber festival on saturday it's going to go from 12 to 8 she's going to have lots of um there's going to be something there's going to be at least eight live right um th there's going to be somebody doing just, something live every hour um and what we're going to do is a lot of you guys have asked us if we could show you how to finish cross stitch patterns so um we are not pretending to be pro professionals at this as a matter of fact 
you're gonna watch us do this and probably make a whole bunch of mistakes, but we're gonna do it and answer questions at the same time, so we thought this is the perfect time to do it. We're also gonna film it, so in case you're busy on Saturday and you're not gonna be able to see it, um, we'll put it into our YouTube feed so that you can watch it back at a, a different time. But this is all hypothetical. We have not tested this, so fingers crossed. It's okay. gonna work the way Marybeth has it in her head. The brain is on it. Okay, so don't worry Brain, about it. brain, who lost her brain today? <laughs> it's back. So, okay. <laughs> brain's back. <laughs> Just went on vacation for a minute. Anyway, um, so what I have planned is that I'm going to have a couple of projects that are ready to be finished, and we're going to finish them in a couple of different ways. And you're going to watch us do it, and I'm going to try really hard not to curse. Um, we don't know what time we're going yet because she asked yeah. us to pick a couple of different time slots. So as soon as we do know that, but what I do know is there's an Allentown Fiber Festival Facebook page and all the information is going to be there. Right. And then she's going to have a list of all the different vendors that were going to be at the Fiber Festival. So if you have some money set aside that you were planning to spend at the Allentown Fiber Festival or Maryland or something else where you didn't get to go and you still have the option to spend it, yeah, go check out some of these vendors because they're going to have a whole bunch of good stuff. Up. Right. And I do know that um, Maryland is trying to do something in a similar vein. Okay. Um, they, they have not indicated what they're going to do yet, but they did say that they were going to try and do something virtually um, for Maryland Sheep and Wool. But for right now, Allentown is this weekend. Um, and uh, yeah, I will try and remember when I'm uploading this to grab the link for the Facebook page and put it down below. Okay. Um, so that uh, you can go and join and be ready to go ahead of time because I think um, starting from now forward, people, the vendors are gonna start putting stuff up too. Yeah, so so you can see stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, just very quickly about the book club. I mentioned I was going to be putting the thing on our Facebook group. I will also be putting it in our blog so that uh, for those of you that don't have Facebook, you can come find it over in the blog and we can have a conversation there too. And to find the blog, it's uh, our website, toadhollownj.com. Below the uh, picture are all the different sections and you can see the Crafty Toads blog. You just click on that and you get to see all our entries. Yeah. So. I just put up Grand's Brownies, so if yeah. you haven't done that and you like fudgy brownies, the recipe's up there. Okay. All right. I think that's it. I think so. Yeah. If not, we're going to be back here tomorrow. Right. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. You good? Yes. All right. Have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. Yes. And. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was going to say we will see you tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Should have done it in unison. We're, you know, twin brain type of thing. But. All right. Coke. Cheers. Happy day.